The movie I'm reviewing today is called The Masked Saint, which is based on a true story and came out in 2016 and is about a man who decides to retire from his rec wrestling company called WFW in order to become a preacher. His wrestling name is none other, of course, than the Masked Saint. But his decision to retire from WFW comes with a price when his wrestling boss gets angry with Christopher's decision to retire from the wrestling company and has Christopher purposely injured inside the ring. The wrestling boss is, of course, played by none other than Wrestling Hall of Famer, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. What ends up happening is when Christopher becomes a pastor of this church, the man who pays the bills of the church insults Christopher's wife, in which Christopher loses his temper and puts the guy into a sleep, sleeper hold. Which ends up having bad results because then Christopher is left with the bills to pay on his own. And then later on when Christopher goes to see a wrestling show. <laughs> he sees that the boss is going to have his friend injured inside that ring. By the same guy whom broke Christopher's leg. And when Christopher gets involved and stops that from happening, the wrestling boss ends up trying to tuck Christopher into coming back to the wrestling company. But Christopher says no. But then, with Christopher's wife about to have another kid and the bills piling up Christopher is faced with a decision to make he ends up having to go back inside the ring if he has any chance of paying the bills And with his wife ready to have another child and these bills piling up, he has basically no other choice. They get back into the ring as the saint. With something to fight for and relying on the Lord God to lead him in the battle, he attempts to wrestle his way back to the top. Proving once and for all that comebacks do happen. And with faith not only in God, but faith in himself. He goes back inside the ring. And makes a huge comeback. This film, I give a full five stars. Great storytelling. Great action. Great movie all around. This has been Tim Witham with the Christian Movie of the Week.